Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button so you can catch up and keep up to date with me for the journey that I'm about to go on to China. Let's get into the video. The last video was briefly touching upon how I applied for a job in China. It was my experience. Now, I guess you could say this video is part two of that because these are the documents that you need to actually get into China and these are the documents that you need to teach in China as well. So just bear that in mind. This is kind of like a Chinese series, I guess, because the reason why I've created this channel is to inform you guys on my experience to have a platform for my parents and my family to keep up with me whilst I'm in China. So I would love it if you'd like this video and come on this journey with me. So there are three main documents that I needed to get into China and to be able to work out there. Now, please bear in mind that every single school is different. These are the three documents that my school required for me to have. I've watched so many YouTube videos of you guys who are currently teaching in China and everyone is different. Some people have required more documents, some people have required less documents. So just bear this in mind when you're applying, make sure that your video when you are talking to your school and make sure you know the documents that you need. The three main documents that I needed was my 120 hours TEPL certificate, my degree certificate and my DBS certificate. What? These are the three main certificates that I needed. To start with, I already had a enhanced DBS certificate. So this is your police check because obviously they want to make sure that you're squeaky clean, ready to teach. I already had a DBS check, an enhanced one, because I was currently doing my work placement whilst I was doing my teacher training. To start with, they said this was absolutely fine. However, as the months rolled on, they realized that once I would get to China, that it would not be valid anymore. So you've got to bear in mind that the documents, even though they're gonna be valid on this side to do your visa, you've gotta make sure that they will be valid in the three months or however long it takes you to actually get out there. My TEFL certificate, I was really excited to do this because my degree is in special effects and not an English degree. I had to do a 120 hour online course and this is teaching English in a foreign language. As soon as I found out that I had got the job, I made sure that I did that straight away and it took me about a week to do. Also, I kind of briefly wanted to mention my contract. So in regards to your contract, just make sure that you get someone to look over your contract. They sent it me pretty much the next day after I did my, my five minute video for them so they could see how I would teach. They sent it me straight away. You need someone else's opinion. I asked my uncle because he's been to China before and he used to have a Chinese wife. So I just said, does this look okay? It doesn't look dodgy, does it? Because he's really good with documentations and things like that. And then I also got my mom and my dad to read through it for me as well. And once I was happy, I made sure, you know, everything that they had kind of promised me in the face-to-face -face interview on FaceTime, I made sure it was all in the contract. And I can't even explain how important this is because I've heard so many horror stories. This mental, people working in China without a Z visa, they're working working in China with a travel visa and then wouldn't wish anyone upon anyone to get scammed but it's kind of like you're not helping yourself because of course they're gonna try and like dodge you a little bit or you know kind of not pay you or pay you less because you're not even teaching legally in the country so just please if you're gonna go, do it properly. That's all I would say. That's what I've learned and that's kind of why I've loved not going straight away because it's given me plenty of time to really research it into it. Once I had all of the three certificates, the school then told me, 
a couple of months later, it was time to legalize and notarize the documents. Now, I was really fortunate because each document that you get legalized and notarized, it costs quite a lot of money. So they told me just to do the TEFL and the DBS certificate, and then they would do my degree certificate on their side. All I had to do was scan my degree into um, the computer, email it to them, and then they sorted that on their side. However, I had to do my TEFL and my DBS. So I went with a company, they're called Apostel Hague, and I will link them down below. And this is another reason why I'm so fortunate and happy and glad that I went with Kango China because they managed to get the documents discounted for me. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite pricey. To send these documents off, I had the form from Kango China to allow me to have the discounted price. I had another form from Apostel Hague just saying what documentations I needed legalized and authorized and how much it would come to. And I then had a photocopy of my passport and a photocopy of a passport photo. These were the four documents that I sent off to Apostel Hague. Now, as you can imagine, I was a bit worried to send these documents, especially my TEFL and my DBS because they're original copies and I don't want them to get lost. So all I did, I sent them first tracked, first tracked? That makes no sense. I sent them first class tracked so I could keep an eye on it to make sure that it got delivered. To be extra cautious as well, I was speaking to a lovely lady from Apostel Hague through email and all I did was send her a quick email just to let her know that I had sent off the documents and then the next day she let me know that she had received them. Now this process took about five to ten working days. Once I had received the items back, I then had to scan copies into the computer again. The front and the back of both the TEFL certificate and the DBS certificate with, you get like a really cute little Chinese approval. It's basically just to show China as well that the documentations are authentic. That is their main priority. They want to know that these certificates are real and authentic and they're from you. Once I'd done that, I then had to wait. After everything was scanned, they said it, the documentations wouldn't be approved on their side till the end of October. So I was like, right, okay. So I'm like, oh my God, you know, it's that's a bit late and whatnot. Fortunately, the documentations got approved on their side at the start of October. You really need this approval because you physically cannot get your visa without the school approval. I couldn't anyway. Every school is different, I can imagine, but I had to have an approval letter to basically say, to the Chinese visa application centers in the UK. Yes, Jodie's coming to work for us. Yes, we want Jodie to come and work for us. Yes, everything here is authentic. The approval letter, now they sent me two versions. So they sent me an English version and a Chinese version and I needed to print off both versions. Once I had those, I then went on to the Chinese visa website, which I will link for you guys down below, and I had to fill out an application form. And then once the application form was completed, it pops up with pops up with the appointment times. Now the Chinese visa application centers in the UK, I believe, are Edinburgh, Manchester, London, and Belfast. I think there's only four, but I could be wrong. There might be five, but I'm in the Midlands, so I went to Manchester. I actually wanted to go sooner, but I had to wait a week because they were full. I went on Tuesday, the 22nd of October, and I will briefly tell you all of the documents that I had taken. So I just took like a little plastic folder to make sure everything was together and safe and whatnot. So I took my TEFL certificate, my DBS certificate. Again, these were legalized and notarized. I took both copies of approval letter from the school, so Chinese and English version. I took a photocopy of my passport, the passport photo. I had printed off the visa application form that I did online because you have to. And then I printed off the appointment time as well because you have to do that. And I also, just in case, took a copy of my contract. Now, the only things that they actually needed when I got there was the application form that I'd done online, my passport, obviously, and the original copy of my passport photo, and then both of the approval letters from my school. 
they didn't need my TEFL, they didn't need my DBS, but again, I know for certain once I go over there and get a resident permit, to go to the police station in China, and I know that they will need that. And again, they'll need the original copy of my degree certificate as well. But all in all, once I had everything together that I needed, it was a really easy process and everything worked out perfectly. The Chinese Visa Application Centre is not far at all from Manchester Piccadilly train station. So I managed to do everything in order. I had to wait a little while, but it wasn't too long. It's so busy in there, it was crazy. And yeah, so it's gonna take about seven to 10 working days. As soon as I get it, I'll show you guys. I'm so excited and then I can book my flight. I didn't wanna book my flight on the day that I think I'm going, just in case something went wrong, basically. Once I've got my visa, I'll be so happy. It's been a really stressful process for me because it's kind of been like a blessing in disguise, but also more stressful for me to wait, have to wait from the start of the year to the end of the year. And I couldn't really get things rolling until September time. So I've had to wait a while. Whereas the majority of people that I've spoken to and majority of people that I've watched on YouTube, they've gone within like a three month period. It's been, it's been a lot and I feel like because I've had to wait so long, I suppose it, it's more stress because I'm a hundred miles an hour kind of person and I like to get things done there and then. So I feel like having to wait was just a burden for me, but now everything is done. I'm so glad it's over and done with. I don't have to worry about it. Has anyone who's watching this video, are you guys in China at the moment teaching? If so, leave me a comment. I'd love to talk to you guys because I love talking to people who are experiencing the same things as me or have experienced the same things as me or are going through the same process. This channel is basically to document the journey that I'm about to go on and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you do have any questions about the application process, if you wanna know any more detailed sort of things, please leave me a comment below and I will answer them for you there and then. So in my next video, I'm actually gonna to talk to you guys about why I'm going to China and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon, bye.